Hey guys, I did my own knotless braids and if you want to learn how to do yours, keep watching. Welcome back to our channel, Kels and the Crew. Today's video is going to be a hair routine. I'm going to be doing the knotless um, individual braids. And this style is my go-to style. I love this protective style, so I'm just going to be showing you guys how I do it. So I start one freshly washed and blow dried hair and I'm just um, going to show you guys what I'm using. I have a few scrunchies that kind of keep your hair out the way. While you're parting, I have a comb. The ones with like the sharp ends is what you need for parting. Um, I also have some Tropic Isle oil. I put a little bit of olive oil in there because I was getting low. And now I'm going to put a generous amount of oil in my hair. Um, I want to put oil in my hair just to keep it from being dry um, when the braids are put in. So that's what I'm doing now. And I also bought some edge booster the style factor edge booster and this is edge control and this is the only edge control that I use for my knotless braids I also have uh, five packs of hair I have a 1b mixed with 30 and I think it's like 30 inches like there it's really long it's the longer pre-stretched braiding hair by expression and that's the hair I'm going to use that's my creep fiance in the back y'all he won't leave me alone <laughs> Now you're also going to need a mirror and this is for you to be able to see in the back of your hair when you're doing the back of your party. So now I'm just going to go ahead and start parting. I usually start part, parting first and then I look at it and then I kind of just touch it up. Um, that's pretty much my method. So I'm basically yeah, just parting my hair now and separating it. I'm going to put a scrunchie in on the top hair and um, just clean up my part in the back. Now I'm going to start making like the box parting. I'm just going to start going vertical. Um, so that's what I'm doing now. And this is for the boxes, like the little boxes you do with the knotless braids. So I'm going to try to get as clean of a part as I can get because the better your parts, the overall better look of um, the hairstyle. And I decided to ask my fiance for help because he was just standing there being a creep anyway. So I just, you know, utilized him being there and he actually held the mirror for me. And if you have somebody that will do that, it actually is a lot easier. Now I'm going to go ahead and go in with that edge booster. I'm going to put it at the base of the section and I'm going to just smooth it in and make it look nice and neat. Now I'm getting the hair ready and um, like I said earlier, I have a 1B and a 30. It's lighter at the ends. So I'm going to go ahead and section off little pieces at a time for the knotless braids. You want to just do like little pieces. I do about seven or eight pieces in my hair. So they're going to be about this size. And I'm just going to put like seven or eight um, down just so it'll be easier for me to just pick it up and go. Now to start the knotless braid, you want to gather the hair in the section and you want to start off like you're braiding your hair. So you want to just 
I'm just regularly braiding my hair nice and neat and I'm going to do that like two or three times. I'm going to braid it two or three times coming down and then I'm going to start adding the hair in. So you'll see me grab a little piece of hair, one of the little sections, we divide it and this is how I grip it. I loop it on that pointer finger on the other hand. I loop it and then I continue braiding. And then once that finger pops back up like that, I grab another piece and I loop it around just like they did the first one. And then I add it back to that pointer finger and then I continue it again. And this continues for about seven or eight times. I do add seven to eight pieces of the divided hair in one braid. So that's basically what I'm gonna be doing. Now, once I start doing like the body of the hair or the body of the braid, um, it's very important to grab a little bit of edge control and just kind of put it on your hair um, that you're trying to blend in with the braid. So I'm just smoothing my hair down so it can blend in with the braid. I'm smoothing it down with a little bit of edge control at a time, just so it can be neat and you know it can it can all just mesh together well. Now I'm just looking to see how the braid came out and it looks pretty good. It looks real nice and neat, so I'm happy with it. So now I'm going to continue on with the rest of my hair. Now I'm going to do the process all over again. I'm going to grab my edge booster, edge control, put it at the base, smooth it in, make it nice and neat. And I'm just going to start braiding just like I did in the first, with the first braid. I'm going to start braiding my regular hair. Now I'm just going to start adding my hair once again, the little sections. I'm going to loop it and I'm going to put it around my pointer finger on the other hand. Do another braid, then do the process again. Put it right on my pointer finger, continue to braid. Once that pointer finger pops out, you add another piece of hair, then continue to braid. Then once it pops back out again, you add another piece of hair, loop it around and then you continue to braid.
Now I finished two rolls at this point. Um, it took me a while just because I was like stopping and getting something to eat and then playing with the kids. So it took me a little bit just to get to this point. Um, but I ended up actually going to sleep and then finishing it the next day because I was just tired. Yeah, after this point, I finished the next day. Now most of my hair is done. I only have these three little braids left to go. And um, I'm just going to show you guys how I do it. And it's in the front, so I figured it would be easier to see um, the braid in the front. So I'm just basically just, I divided the hair already. I'm just smoothing it out. I'm going to add my edge control to the base of the hair and make it nice and neat. Now I'm going to start braiding. So I'm going to braid like two, I'm going to do like three, like braid it three times if that makes sense. I'm just going to like loop it around, like braid it around three times and then um, yeah, I'm going to do one more time. And then once my pointer finger comes out, I'm going to add a little piece of hair like before when I showed you in the back, just like that. And I, want, I wanted to show you in the front because it's more clear so you can see. And I'm going to put it just like that on that pointer finger. Continue to braid. And then once my finger pops back up right there, I'm going to add another piece of hair and I'm going to put it right on that finger. So this is basically just how I loop it on my finger, just like that. And I'm going to continue to braid. And like I said, I use seven to eight pieces um, on one braid. If you want your braids to be longer, you can do like you can do like six or seven pieces in the beginning, like how I'm doing. And then once you get to like the middle of the braid, you can add some more hair in to make the braid longer. Now the ends of your hair may stick up like this, so all you have to do is just get some more of that edge booster and just slick it down. You want the ends to blend especially because they can poke out and just ruin the whole braid. So just really tuck them in. Now I'm finally done, y'all. This, this is the best hairstyle. Honestly, it doesn't hurt. There's no tension. Um, you can put it up, you can put it down, you can do whatever you want to do on the first day because it 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 doesn't hurt at all. And like I said, this is my go-to style. I love my braids. I've gotten so many compliments on them already. Um, I hope you guys like my braids. Um, and like I said, like these braids are so versatile. You can do any style with them. No pain.
Now that I'm done, I'm just going to add some mousse on them and then I'm going to dip the ends in hot boiling water. So I'm going to boil water and then I'm just going to dip the ends just so they seal um, and then I'm finished. I was definitely filling myself with these braids, y'all. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you try out this method too. Um, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Like this video, comment down below, and make sure you guys hit the bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. All right, guys, thank you. Bye.